Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. A super exciting video today because I'm finally getting to a book series I've been meaning to get to for months. Probably. I'm missing everybody right about this series, so I was like, okay, you know, it's time that I start it. It's time that I read it because I have all of them, but I just haven't started it yet. And that's going to be the Shadow Me series. In this video, I'm just going to be reading the first three books of the Shadow Me series plus the novellas. For the first three books, I do have the rest of them on my bookshelf over there, but I am going to be reading the first three, and that does include Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, which by the way, Ignite Me is like literally my favorite favorite cover of all of these books and i also have unite me which include the two novellas destroy me and fracture me these are i believe juliet's journals or maybe it's from like the other people's point of view i'm not exactly too sure but i know that in between these two books i read one of these and then the next two i read one of these yeah that is what this video is going to consist of all of these books because it's about time i get to it so the first one is obviously shatter me if you don't know what this series is about it is about juliet she has a fatal touch and i guess their government of like wherever they're at is called the reestablishment. it's basically a dystopian fantasy kind of novel i'm pretty sure it's dystopian but they want to use her as a weapon but juliet doesn't want to do that she is finally starting to fight back but then she meets Adam and Aaron, which I believe is kind of like the love triangle part in this book, which I personally don't mind love triangles. I think they're kind of like a little bit fun to read about, which a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I hate love triangles. And I'm like, I actually kind of enjoy them. So yeah, but that is what this book is about. Everybody's been reading it. Katie is reading, has been reading it. Haley Pham, Sarah Caroli, all of my favorite YouTubers. So I was like, okay, it's time to pick it up. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am starting this video on August 26th. We are going to get started with reading this because I'm very excited. a little bit later now i am on chapter four so i've read only about 20 pages so far and i already know i'm loving this like as soon as i started reading this book i got hooked within the first two pages i immediately got hooked which has never happened before usually it takes me at least five to six chapters to really get into a book or at least like 50 pages to really get into a book but i freaking love this one it's so good it's so interesting it's so far it's just like i want to know what happens and i just met adam well i didn't just meet adam but we did meet adam i think i'm gonna continue reading while it rains because i haven't been able to do this in months so i'm very very happy right now but yeah i'm gonna continue reading let you know my thoughts on it a little bit later so it's only about probably 20 minutes later and i just learned that adam is actually a soldier like one of the guards i really thought that he was like juliet's friend but he's not but i think that we also met aaron at the same time i don't know this is like just wow 46 pages in i'm already having like plot twists come at me i really thought that he was juliet's friend at this point or whatever but i guess he was just trying to get information from her i also am kind of confused because i thought juliet's like touch is like fatal does she kill people if people touch her or no that's what i'm trying to figure out because she doesn't actually talk about like what happens whenever people touch her she's just like people can't touch me which is interesting. I don't really know, but I'm gonna continue reading because this book is so good. I just want to come on here and like sh voice my thoughts about that because I just need to get that out there because a lot is going on.
later now it is like 5 p.m i think i started reading around two or three on page 152 i'm almost halfway through with it and so far what has been going on is that she is now in a reestablishment kind of house mansion type of thing and she has her own room her cameras have been disabled now by warner adam and juliet are kind of like a thing now basically they knew each other whenever they were little kids and now they're having like their second chance at being together i really hope that i don't end up hating adam later in these books because i genuinely really like him i just love how sweet he is to juliet i really really hope that it's all not an act like i'm having the feeling that it is and i don't like that feeling because i actually want to like adam and then warner something about him it's like i hate him but also at the same time i feel like there actually is a reason that he's doing all of this that he is being like so harsh I mean, he's trying to like prove himself but he actually is like behind like the riots or like a group that actually hates the reestablishment that's the kind of vibes i get from warner so i'm like i don't know if i should hate him or like love him and same with adam i don't know if i should love him or hate him like but all i know right now is that right now i don't like warner i don't like the mind tricks that he's playing i don't like how manipulative he is and i love adam but julia needs to kind of like stick up for herself like she's done it in front of warner a lot and like sticking up for herself and being like have that fire but i don't know i kind of want to see that come out of her a little bit more but yeah i'm really enjoying this book i'm genuinely very surprised by how far i've gotten into it and like how much i genuinely love this book but yeah so far it's amazing it's great and i love it good morning so it is the next day i read a little bit more of shadow me last night before i went to sleep and where did i even leave off at basically what happened is adam and juliet left where the like re-establishment was they're now with adam's like little brother james i believe and before they left aaron was like but i can love you juliet i love you like he doesn't actually love you he doesn't like actually care about you but yet like a week or two before he basically almost made juliet like kill a child and at first i was like okay i'm gonna give warner the benefit of the doubt you know like maybe something's actually going on and then whenever that happened i was like okay i'm done liking him whenever i got to that chapter chapter 37 whenever uh, Warner is like I can love you like don't you think that there's something weird going on like Warner touches her and he like nothing happens as well so like I and then now Juliet's having like second thoughts about everything she's like it was just too easy like everything that's happening the way that they escaped the way that they found like refuge it was just way too easy for something like the reestablishment so I think that something else is going on like another little plan or whatever is going on like Warner knows everything or maybe adam is like the bad guy i i don't know guys i'm really i'm excited to figure it out because i think i only have about 100 pages left i'm just so invested into the story like i want to know what happens i need to know which guy i need to be rooting for because right now i'm not really rooting for either of them aaron warner literally just needs help in general like i would need to know why he's doing all this what he did was just like okay kind of don't like you right now but then adam it's like i kind of just get very bad vibes from him like i feel like there's something else going on you know so i'm gonna continue reading and we'll see just finished book one of shatter me i'm actually very surprised i finished it so fast and i literally finished it within like 24 hours barely but i love this series so much so far i don't exactly know what i'm gonna rate this specific book just yet i really really like the series i'm very excited to continue reading it i think the next one that i'm gonna be reading is the novella destroy me i don't have time to start it right now because i have to get to work but i am very excited because the way that this book ended off like 
it just it reminds me a lot of hunger games almost because like in there they have like their own little reestablishment, and then now they are at a mega point in this book which is basically an underground kind of like they want to fight back against the reestablishment, and i think it's really cool i'm definitely like liking adam a lot more because he is actually a good guy he's not like a bad guy what i can tell now like he straight up almost died i also met kenji which i love him so much he's so incredibly funny i can't wait to continue reading like his relationship like with julia and everything but i do like adam I think I've come to my conclusion with that. Warner is literally psychotic. He's crazy. I'm kind of interested to see how we're supposed to end up liking Warner, but I'm very excited to continue reading this book. I really, really like it so far. And the next book that I'm going to be reading is Destroy Me in the novella. I will catch up with you guys later. So I can't believe I already finished the first book. since I last updated. Those clips were from this morning from like 8 a.m. around that time. It is now about 6 30 in the afternoon, almost evening-ish, and I have been reading Destroy Me, which is an Aaron's point of view, which I think is like kind of cool. I am really loving kind of being in his head and understanding him and just trying to like make sense of like why he is the way he is. Not gonna lie, he still just kind of gives me psycho vibes. Like he's obsessed with Juliet. He's like, but I like her like a lot. Like I want her for myself, but like he's like psycho kind of and his dad is a part of the reason why he's probably like that from what i've read so far i'm only on chapter nine i'm about to start chapter nine so that's like all that i've really read so far but i still don't know how i feel about warner i'm like kind of i'm kind of tipping like on an edge with him because like on one side that i'm tipping towards i'm like okay i don't like him and on the other side i'm like i want to like him because like he just seems to be like that villain who is a villain for a reason which i love those kind of characters like what is that called anti heroes i think so but that's the kind of vibe he gives me but I, like i don't really like him just yet but so far with everything that i've read this is pretty much taking place right after he gets shot by juliet in the shadow me book and his like dad comes into town and his dad is like the head guy for the reestablishment, which just makes a lot of sense with everything going on and so i really like this book so far i'm probably gonna read a little bit more i just wanted to do a little update and just show you guys my thoughts what's going on all this kind of stuff because why not so i think i'm gonna continue reading this little novella i hope to be done with this novella by tomorrow if not tonight i'm gonna continue reading a little bit a bit later now and i just finished the first novella destroy me fracture me is going to be the next novella let's talk about this little novella because i have lots of thoughts and my opinion on warner is evolving so i'm not gonna lie the first half of this novella i was like okay he's just kind of weird but then as the second half went on like you got to see a more human side of him you got to see him find her notebook which has like all of her thoughts feelings from whenever she was kept in that asylum and he starts reading it and he's like oh my gosh i feel so bad for this girl and it's hard for him to read it and like just because it's filled with so much emotion and what she went through and everything like that that he just feels way down by it. it was just so interesting to see how like the author really humanized warner and made him 
him seem less like a bad guy and more just like a broken person who is just following his dad's orders and how he's been conditioned to basically thinking the way that he does and act the way that he does about everything which kind of makes me just like him just because he is kind of that anti-hero i really really like this book i think that this little novella was necessary just because it kind of humanizes warner as i was saying and just makes him feel a little bit more human so moral of the story um if you're gonna read the shadow me series please do read the novellas because they're great so the next book that i'm going to be reading is unravel me don't know what's going to go on in this book let me read the back of it real quick in this one i think that it really is going to introduce the love triangle between her adam and warner i think it's really interesting you know their little like love triangle because like adam's obviously the good guy and Warner's obviously the bad guy, but like, it kind of gives me Stefan and Damon vibes, a little bit like Vampire Diaries, but if it were a dystopian show, I don't know. Um, I'm really excited. I don't know which one I like more still. I don't want to make that decision yet, but I'm going to get started with reading Unravel Me. I'm excited to see all these characters again. I'm excited to see more of Kenji as well, because Kenji is probably going to be like my favorite character out of this entire series. Um, he's great. I literally met him at the end of Shadow Me, and I was like, I, I know I'm going to like him. Um, on to the next book. Hey guys, so it has been a few days since the last time I like updated with you guys and talked to you all. So yeah, Yesterday on Monday, I started Unravel Me. I am already like 100 pages into this book because I've been reading for the past two days. I just haven't been able to sit down and tell you guys like what's all going on. So I'm gonna catch you guys up on what has been going on in this book. So basically we pick up where Juliet and Warner and Kenji are all at the Omega place, Omega point. So they are all still underground. And Juliet learns that Adam has been doing a lot of testing to figure out like why can he touch her and not other people and this all this kind of stuff and, and Kenji brings her to the testing facilities and she ends up like having um a big old commotion about it and been like what are you doing to him and all this other kind of stuff she almost collapses the place and now like the leader of Omega Point what's his name Castle so Castle is like I don't trust you right now like you're either with us or you're not and you figure that out you and Adam need to talk Kenji's basically over kind of all the drama which I forgot that they were like 17, 18 years old for some reason. I thought they were like in their 20s, but it makes a lot more sense for them to be like 17, 18 years old with like the way that that Julia is acting. Find out that Adam can like stop people from like using their powers or like he he deflects it, something like that. And, and he's immune to like everybody with powers. He has to like use his power and kind of project it a little bit to really protect himself. And whenever he's around Juliet, like it's not that he's immune to her, it's that he's having to use his power power like over time to like be okay to be around her and that's what her castle and adam just talked about and then castle leaves her and adam alone and now adam is in the hospital kind of facility and it's just crazy kind of like what is all going on and just seeing everybody's reactions to it i really do love this book i love the freaking writing in here so much whenever i was reading earlier i highlighted like a whole paragraph because of the way that she just makes things sound poetic is just amazing Amazing. like this one line it's like swimming in molasses this kiss it's like being dipped in gold this kiss it's like i'm diving into an ocean of emotion i'm too swept up in the current to realize i'm drowning and nothing even matters anymore i just i love that for whatever reason like it's just so beautiful and there's just been like a lot of plot hitting points going on so i'm on page 102 chapter 15 probably will be continuing reading for a little bit i just wanted to kind of catch you guys up on what has been going on because i haven't been able to sit down and really talk to you guys so yeah i really love this book so much i keep on saying that but like i genuinely mean it I'm on page 146. I just finished reading chapter 21 in this book. And basically, what we see in here is... And basically, Kenji freaking hit <laughs> Juliet hard in, like, her heart with what he said. He was like, you need to stop being a baby. 
yes things suck for you but at the same time it's not all about you everybody else has a sucky life right now like you need to get over yourself you're either with us or you're not and you need to hurry up and make a choice because everybody's tired of like your drama and i've never ever seen a book where like the main character is told like none of this is about you and you need to stop being like a drama queen which i respect kenji so freaking much in this book i love him so much he really just needs to tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear like i love like his fun sarcastic funny side but at the same time like his hard side whenever he talks to julia and adam whenever like he needs to tell them the truth about what's going on kenji be saying some good stuff and then also in this chapter we see juliet kind of starting to like warner she was like he just seems so human like whenever he's with the dog and i'm so so freaking excited to see how this is gonna go it's starting to happen ah, oh my gosh i'm so excited i want to hurry up and finish this book so bad it's so good <laughs> so i'm reading right um page 246 i find out adam and aaron our brothers that castle started the war juliet is amazing love her i love juliet so much she was like i'm gonna take you out and i'm not gonna feel bad about it freaking stood up for herself like warner just in general like this one line oh my gosh what does it say i love that like scene like i feel my bones ignite it's warner and she says i see the difference in him now i see which change he's making no effort to hide his emotions from me warner as a human being terrifies me more than anything else because she's starting to like like him and all this kind of stuff and then everything that's just happening oh my gosh guys the develop freaking love this book i literally don't know like what else to say about all of this because i'm like halfway through this book now and i don't want to put it down like it is 9 20 at night and i should be trying to go to sleep but i literally this book is so good like the entire plot line the emotional roller coaster that i'm on that's all i have to say someone in the car next to me but i'm gonna try to ignore them because i just want to talk to you guys because i realized that from the last time i read to right now i have not updated you guys on like what i've been reading about also sorry if you can hear my car um i'm in my car obviously but i have been reading and i found out that aaron and adam are brothers both immune to like her touch i say immune because adam's not actually like immune to her he just has like these other powers aaron probably also has but like i did not know that they were brothers that's kind of cool i'm very excited because they are they hate each other like a lot and they're both after like the same girl why do these love triangles always have to do with brothers like we got the vampire diaries we got the summer term pretty and now the shadow me series they always have to do with brothers which is so weird that's a big thing that's been happening um it's been also a couple days it's now wednesday i think the last time i filmed was monday so i've just been kind of reading this book whenever i've got the chance but they just captured warner and now juliet it's kind of been the most awkward thing ever whenever someone is like sitting in the car next to me like i want to talk to you guys so i do and then i'm like oh i have a camera pulled out of my car they probably oh my gosh i don't care what other people think you know whatever screw that i have one to capture and julia it has to be the one to like question him and everything which is kind of like a little weird i wonder how that's gonna go i kind of already have an idea of how that's gonna go but yeah we shall see 
We shall see. So it is the next day. It's like noon right now. I'm about to go eat lunch, but I read a few more chapters in Unravel Me. My plan is to finish this entire book between today and tomorrow. I really want to finish it today, but if that's not able to happen, I'm finishing it tomorrow. Basically what's happening is that Juliet is now talking with Warner, trying to get information, and she's falling for him so hard, and I am too, and I kind of hate it, but like, I love Aaron, I love him. Whenever he says stuff um, like this, you're gonna go on to do incredible things. I've always known that. I think I just wanted to be a part of it. Uh, after he went on a whole entire, like full page, just expressing like, I'm so sorry that like I hurt you. I'm sorry that I did terrible things. I just want you to do great. Like I can see just so much potential in you and this is how I was trained and raised and everything. And I'm sorry for what I've done. And that, Oh my gosh, that was just amazing to just read and also know Juliet's thoughts on that. I love this book and I'm loving Warner. Yeah, that's basically where we're at now. And then he just told Juliet like, hey, um, the day after tomorrow, prepare for war. It's coming, um, the, your men are here. That's all I can tell you. Like, I don't know what else to give you, but yeah, I'm very excited. And I am gonna be trying to finish this book. I don't know if anything else like really interesting happens, then I'll do an update. But um, so far, I think this is gonna be probably my last update before I finish this book. Cause I really don't have that much left. I have like a hundred pages left. So yeah, I will see you guys a little bit later. of something important happened and nothing important like plot wise whenever it comes to like the reestablishment and that kind of stuff is happening but important stuff between Aaron and Juliet is happening he asked her to leave with him and she's like no they end up making out all this kind of stuff and he's like I want you to call me Aaron by my name like I want to know you like I want you to know me like I am so in love with you like I want all like saying all this stuff and then she's like, but Adam, and he's like, how dare you? Like, I'm in love with you. I'm telling you all this stuff. I can feel it between us because he has these powers apparently where he can feel people's energy and like take the energy and like use it himself. And he's like, I know what you feel. I know what's going on. So why are you lying? And she's like, well, you know what? You're scared of everything. You're scared of like who you are, that you have no mercy for yourself. Like telling him the truth, honestly, of like who he is. But, and he's like, this is why I look. I let myself lie to myself. But he starts walking out and she's like, I won't see you again. He's like, I certainly hope not. And then now we're left off with this. I only, I think I have like 50 pages left of this book, but I leave to go to work at 30 minutes. And I don't know how I'm gonna finish this in 30 minutes. <sighs> I freaking this book. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> just, it's great. Hey guys, so I just finished Unravel Me and let's talk about it because the way that this ended was insane. So the way that this ended was basically they go into war, they're obviously losing, like they have to be losing, pretty much everyone is dead. And she gets captured by Anderson and his men. Anderson shoots her in the chest and then he leaves and leaves up, leaves Warner to like basically take care of her, like save or try to save her. And I think, I'm pretty sure Anderson thinks that she's dead because of the way that he shot her and like where he shot her. And Sonya and Sonya, I don't know their names, I'm not gonna lie. Warner was like begging them like, can you please save her? Like I can help uh, connect you guys so you don't, so you guys don't get hurt. Like I can take your energy and transfer it to her, whatever. And they're like, why would we trust you? And then he realizes Juliet's awake and he's like begging them that like, please help me. And they finally do. And then she wakes up and she decides, you know, I don't care anymore. I'm taking off my gloves and I am going to fight this back as hard as I can, which is amazing. I'm so freaking excited to see her like use her powers and go at it and like defeat these freaking people, like get rid of Anderson. This book was so 
freaking good. I thought the first one was a roller coaster. This one was a roller coaster with just like everything Aaron. Like the way that Adam and Aaron are related, they share the same father, um, Anderson, that whole entire thing about how she almost killed him. Just also Warner and Juliet, like their chemistry. I have no words. It was so freaking good, guys. I cannot get over it. I love this book. Like, I genuinely love this book so much. A five out of five for me. And just the writing of this book is so good. I know I was saying that for Shadow Me, but, like, it just keeps on getting better. Now, I'm going to start on the next novella, which is Fracture Me. Um, I'm pretty sure that Fracture Me is in Adam's point of view. I'm excited to see where Adam is. I don't know if this is going to be, like, during the ending of this book or, like, before... I don't know, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't really like Adam. Like, I like Adam, but to me, he's very childish and just Aaron Warner. Like, he... It's just his character development in this book was so good, guys. I can't. His character development is just so good. I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to get to Ignite Me because everybody's like, that's my favorite one. So we'll see. the second novella which is fracture me which is an adam's point of view right whenever them and juliet got separated it added in a little bit before that but like mainly that's the whole entire purpose of this of the fracture me novella was just to tell us like what's going on with adam and kenji and the rest of omega point after like juliet and then got separated it's so sad <laughs> like it's really really short i think it was only like 40 pages it was so short but it was so sad because I didn't realize that like they completely bombed Omega Point like everyone is dead We weren't sure if James got out at first which is Adam's little brother who I love so much But I'm so glad that he did he was like I wanted to go fight so I left and then everybody died And Adam's just like I came back for you But they think that Juliet is dead now and then Adam came to like a realization like I don't know if My loyalty is to James or Juliet and I don't know if I should be fighting for a girl who doesn't want to be with me anymore Which is just so heartbreaking at the same time like the character development for adam that's going to be coming soon is going to be absolutely amazing so yeah i just finished that novella which means i can get started on reading the last book in this video which is this is going to be the last book in like the main shatter me series and that is ignite me i am so excited to read this one guys i'm not even kidding like this is the book that i have been waiting to read this entire time because everybody says that this one is their favorite before you get to like the second half of the shatter me series i'm so excited for this one you guys have no idea i know this video is probably already so long but I think this is the book that everybody's been waiting for. So we're picking up on here basically whenever everybody thinks that Julia is dead and she has to work with Warner and everything from what I understand. And I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to see her character development because at the end of Unravel Me, you really start to see her being like, I want to feel strong. I think it's going to happen in this book. I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and get started on reading it. So... So I have been reading Ignite Me. I haven't done any updates, but I am about, I'm 137 pages in. Just finished up chapter 21. Wow, I didn't even realize how far I was into this book. But let's talk about everything that's been happening since Unravel Me, because I'm pretty sure this is my first update for this book, which I didn't mean for that to happen, but it just kind of did. So for this book, I decided that I wanted to do a key 
like for tabbing so i have three tabs one is imagery another one is like everything with aaron warner and then also plot points because i realized that a lot of these books have a lot of imagery and i wish i would have done a color coding for the first two as well but i didn't so chapter one juliet wakes up and aaron is taking care of her he is like you need to like take it easy whatever and she's like what's going on where is everybody he's like they're all dead next couple chapters she's like i don't understand like why are they what's going on on, you're lying to me he's like no they're like they're all dead they're not okay then she starts to get really angry and she's like i want to kill your father like i want to get rid of the reestablishment. and aaron's basically like you're finally ready you're finally ready to to fight and he's just like i want i want to be there like i want to help you and it's just like he's so proud of her in this moment and like over the next few chapters being like i'm so proud of you for getting out of your show and realizing just how much power that you have it's so interesting to see her character development of how she went to this very shy timid girl in the first book and is just like scared of her own shadow and now she's like i want to fight like this is what i'm gonna do even if i die trying i want to fight because she's so done with everything wrong in the world and then she finds out that aaron has like a soft spot for fashion she finds his closet which is so cute that he's like a little own fashionista i love aaron warner as we all know and then they have a moment later on and it, warner is like i just i want you she likes him but she doesn't want to admit it yet but he knows that she likes him and he's just like i just need you to admit it i'm tired of playing these games and she's like i don't know what you want me to do and he's like you stupid you know exactly what you want i know exactly what you want because i can feel your emotions like come on page 57 whenever he's like you're a coward you want to be with me and it terrifies you and you're shamed ashamed that you could ever want someone like me you want me and it's killing you and she's just like yeah and he's like come back to life love i'll be here when you wake up that quote got me from there he takes her to omega point and then that's where they meet up with kenji aaron he finds out that he can like use other people's powers and so he takes kenji's invisibility power and like goes back to his mansion place and then kenji and juliet they go back to adam's house where everybody is staying and now we're at the part where warner shows up because he's looking for juliet and juliet was like we're all gonna fight together and adam like just blew up and walked out which adam was like i just wanted you like i don't want to do any of this kind of fighting like i just want to be with you and she's like i can't just sit here and not do anything and adam's like i don't understand this is like who you were like like a couple months ago and she's like well i changed a lot and he's like i don't understand how you can even be like this like i don't know who you are anymore and she's like too bad you don't deserve me what's good for her good for her anyway that is pretty much where we are in this book i tried to explain it as quickly as i could without leaving like any key details out but i love this book so much i like i have to be a third of the way through it i just want to continue reading this book i just love it so much like this book is so good and i'm so excited but yeah that's my update and i love this book and i'm gonna continue reading it hasn't even been that long since i updated like it's been two minutes and i read the next chapter please just this entire scene adam was like you're my girlfriend she's like no i'm not we broke up a month ago what are you talking about he's like you don't understand me you don't understand yourself and you don't understand that you're acting like a stupid child who's allowed herself to be brainwashed by a psychopath the way i want to smack him in the face um warner is like i don't want to interrupt but julia i have to get going are you staying here coming with me and Adam screams, he's like, get out. Warner was like, uh, oh, so shall we, Juliet? And Adam's like, she's not going anywhere with you. Now get lost. And then she's like, I don't need your permission. I'm not hiding. I'm not going. If you love me, you wouldn't stand in my way. So Adam turns to Warner and says, is there something you want to say? And Warner says, God, no. Juliet doesn't require my assistance. And you might not have realized yet, but it's obvious to everyone else that you've lost this fight, Ken. I'm loving this entire thing. The entire thing.
I've read a little bit more of Ignite Me. I am like, I have like a third of the book left. This is how much I've read so far and this is how much I have left. Look at all that. Okay, I don't remember where I left off last night. Right now, what has been happening is nothing's really progressed, if we're being honest. Like, they have a plan now that they want to take over Sector 45 and kind of make everybody turn from the capital reestablishment kind of people. Basically, make everyone in Sector 45 like trolls, the civilians, go on to their side so they could start actually winning the war. If I'm being honest, like this really has kind of like no plot almost. Like nothing really exactly happens. I mean, so far and I've read two thirds of it. The thing is, is that these books are still good because of the amount of like drama that kind of happens and like character development and dynamics and everything. And we get to see these characters grow a lot more and just with everything else that's going on, which I really, really love. And I just, I still love this book. I still think it's great. Juliet and Warner still are not kind of getting along because Warner like doesn't just want to be her friend and he's like you are gonna destroy me like I can't just be your friend like I want to be more and they still really aren't talking but I need them to talk. I need them to get it all figured out please. But now Kenji invited Adam to come over to the mansion place to like train with them. Like Adam was chill at first. He was like okay I get it like you don't love me because Kenji lied to Adam was like Juliet's still pining over you and then she came up right to Adam and said Kenji lied to you I don't love you we are over we're gonna be over like I can't be with you and he was like oh I knew that and then as soon as she was like you know Warner doesn't mind you being here he like got all real mad and was like like I hate him and then he stormed off and yeah it was pretty funny because Juliet blew up on Kenji she was like I can't believe that you did that I can't believe that you lied to him I can't believe that you lied about me like what is wrong with you and it was so funny like the entire thing it really was but yeah so now adam's over there warner and adam have not met up since the last time and then warner still doesn't know that him and adam are brothers which is really interesting so i'm excited to see whenever that comes out i'm probably gonna pick it up a little bit later because i have things to go do but i will see you guys in a little bit o'clock at night on September 5th and I just finished the third book in the Shadow Me series, Ignite Me. I freaking love this book. Let's just start there. Let's start about whenever Aaron found out that Adam is his brother. He was like, how can I hate him when I know where he got his anger from and just wants to get to know his brothers and that he's just so sweet and just wants to get to know his family and he's like i just want to be with them it was so cute i did not expect him to be like that i thought he would like drag it out a little bit longer to be like uh like i hate him even more now but like he immediately jumped to like i want to get to know you I love him. I love him. And his character development, oh my gosh, it was amazing. And then they go into battle and Julia and Kenji are split up from the rest of the group. The main group goes to fight and then Julia and Kenji go to like the ship that Anderson is on and Julia ends up killing Anderson and is like, I shot him once for Aaron and once for Adam. And at the end, she comes back to Sector 45 and is like, the Supreme Person is dead. This is Juliet. The reestablishment has collapsed. Like anybody who wants to come after me, come after me but you will not win and i love her for that oh my goodness the way that this book ended was so perfect julia and aaron finally getting together was just so worth the wait i don't think you understand i tabbed this book so much you can't even see it because of the lighting but i tabbed it so much this is the most like i think i've ever tabbed a book that means i am done with the first three books of the shatter me series now let's just talk about this entire series in general so shatter me unravel me ignite me and then the 
unite me bind up i loved these characters and this storyline so incredibly much the way that juliet is so different from the books shatter me and ignite me and you just can see her grow through unravel me and you see her grow even more and ignite me and she turns from this sweet gentle kind girl to such a strong female is so beautiful and how she really grew and was like i don't need to be with adam because he not that he weighed me down but he wants something that i'm not anymore but warner wants me and he wants me to be stronger than i am i loved it her character development so much and i also really love the character development of warner as well from shatter me and ignite me how he just is a sweet boy who just wants someone to love him and who just wants his family and someone to care for him like it is so beautiful to see his character development because in shatter me i was like i don't know which one i should like more adam or aaron i kind of was like i'm leaning towards adam but as i got into unravel me and ignite me i was like you know aaron there's such something about him you know and i'm so incredibly happy with his character development and also adam his character development kind of went from like Dee. so i don't know how i feel about him at the end of the series i can see a little bit of a potential of him actually being happy but kenji i think kenji is probably my other favorite character like out of this series you meet him in shatter me but you really see him in unravel me and he's so funny and his friendship with juliet is just so cute and their dynamic is just so like amusing to read about and i really really loved it i love these books so much I really really do this entire series is so good I'm so happy that I read them and I will be reading the rest of them that is my shatter me reading vlog I know that this video is probably so long but if you're still here till the end thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you did make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready but I hope to see you guys all in my next video I love you and peace out